It's working. <clears throat> All right, so what's up? I'm Alex. I've been a developer for almost seven years now. Just actually graduating in uh, my bachelor. I've been working while uh, getting my bachelor for quite a while. Recommend it. This is my GitHub. I used to have a YouTube uh, channel, Squash. LinkedIn, all the good stuff. And today I want to talk to you uh, about tools that you as a designer can use to work better and collaborate with developers. These are tools that we use on the daily uh, with all the people I work with because they just make life so much better for the both of us. So Zeppelin solves the issue of having to use the Photoshop ruler for your designs, uh, especially now that you use Sketch. Um, I mean, I guess you can force me to use Sketch or you can just upload the stuff on Zeppelin and in two seconds I'm going to be able to fetch all these numbers, all these amazing measurements that you worked so hard in figuring out uh, the relationship be between fonts, the style guide, the colors, all that stuff. You just put it on Zeppelin and I'm going to execute. I don't have to think about it anymore. You make my life better, I will make your design the way you want it and that way we all win. Second tool is sharing assets, Dropbox and Google Drive. Use whichever one you prefer. Um, the third one, I think it's very important. It happens quite a lot. Uh, let's say you need to share some code. Uh, you may be tempted to share it on Trello, on uh, Asana, on a project management tool, or on Telegram or email. And most of the time, the formatting of the code is going to be terrible. So with a tool like uh, Pastebin, you can literally just paste in the code and it's going to be formatted. So let's say I had to paste this, uh, hey dude, code. Then I can highlight and uh, the syntax will be HTML in this case. It's most likely HTML or JavaScript. And you can just create a new paste and now you can just send this to anybody. Whoops. And there you go. Now you have the proper formatting. And even if you send me the role, I can just copy it. It's going to be way easier than to deal with uh, any trouble caused by other tools. So Pastebin is amazing. Uh, for to, fourth tool, uh, project management tool. You can use Slack, you can use Trello, you can use Monday, you can use Asana, whichever you want, but you need to have one. And this is very important also because of uh, the importance of nomenclature. Uh, there's actually a very uh, recently released article by InVision about best practicing for design system naming convention. And it's very important uh, because uh, like we basically, I as a developer, I'm thinking in components and you as a designer are thinking in components too. Maybe you don't call them components, but that's what they are, at least to me. Like this would be the single deal page component and then it has a header. It has a, a top bar with countdown, a countdown component, a picture with, uh, let's call it small detail component, a quantity selector component. So that's how I view it. And you probably view it in a very similar way. So we need to have uh, a um, shared ground and uh, having a project management tool is a great starting point for that. So fifth point is the Google Developer Console. If you work with web, you need to know the developer console. You can access the developer console by opening your option, more tools, developer tools, or as you may have seen, you can just press command option I. And the third option will be to select any element you're interested in and, and right clicking and pressing inspect. And the inspector has two very important uh, features. One tab is called elements and the other tab is called console. The console is the JavaScript console and anytime there's an issue in terms of functionality you should taking a picture which you can do with command shift 4 of the console and send that to your developer because if you send me the console I know what the issue is if you don't send me the console and you explain the issue it may we may have a very hard time uh, the second uh, functionality is called elements and by pressing this button up here on the top left it allows you to select any element and you can see the styles. And if you're familiar with Sketch or with Zeppelin, um, it's going to be fairly easy for you to understand what's going on, even just at a glance. And this way, you're going to be able to give me more accurate description. And additionally, you can change uh, uh, things interactively here. 
uh, in this case it doesn't let us probably because it's uh, uh, they, they they want it they want us not to be able uh, for whatever reason but uh, this is a very powerful tool it also allows us to change the text literally in the preview that's how you make those fake um, fake uh, Google pages and stuff and you can also add any style you want you can do color yellow and now we ruin the page awesome so amazing tool as we said you can right click on any element or you can press command shift uh, command option shift I that's command option I command option I okay so app number six and app number seven are very important the first one is called squish.app and squish Squish.app allows you to reduce the size of any file. So anytime you want to send me an asset, especially if it's a JPEG, just put it on Squish, download it, 67% smaller, you just press two buttons, you're done. You literally put the file in, you drag and drop it, you look at the reduction, you press the download button, you're done. And this is basically what I have to do every time you send me a file. So if you're gonna do it, uh, now you have control of how it looks because you have a uh, better eye than me. I'm not gonna care, literally. I'm just gonna reduce the quantity to make it efficient, but you may get pissed off if I do this because as you can see, it loses quality. So if you decide the numbers and you reduce it for me, we're gonna both be happier. Uh, the same thing applies to bulk resize photos, which I personally love. And the reason why I love this two app, uh, and you can find it by saying bulk resize photos, or you can just say bulk resize images and you're gonna find it's the first result it's the in my opinion it's the best tool because both of these tools are front-end based so you don't have to upload anything let's say I want to compress all these pictures it's not gonna upload them to the internet so it's very fast you uh, I mean it's, you change the dimension you change the width you say it's 920 pixel and there you go you're done you, you can even install it. This tool is amazing, I love it. I use it all the time. And the last tool, it's something that you may need, uh, my designer sometimes need it, to find back some stuff that we put in on the on the website. And it's by it's called teenai.com, uh, teen teenai, and we just type it in together, teenai.com. And it allows you to do a, a reverse image search. So let's say you put in a uh, kind of an image on the web, you can just upload it and it's going to send you all of the occurrences. And it's a fairly accurate tool. It works with Getty Images. We've worked with most uh, stock photos tools. So if you bought the picture and you don't remember where you got it or you edited it a bit, this tool is smart enough to find it. So it's an amazing tool. And that said, if you're going to install Zeppelin, you're going to use Pastebin, you're going to use the Google Developer Console, these three are the big ones. Your developer is gonna love you, and at the same time, your collaboration with them is gonna uh, increase. Like you're gonna become a deadly t double team. And if you wanna download this uh, infographic, just click on the link below, the link in the description, and I'm gonna give it to you 100% for free. Um, these old things uh, are to say that I'm making a very uh, cool and short to the point course that teaches you how to build your own prototype. So you as a designer, you probably have tons of ideas, tons of creative ideas for new uh, prototypes and products you would like to program, but you probably lack the development skill. What if I told you that you could build your prototype in less than a week? So if you're interested in that, just uh, sign up at the link below. I'm going to send you the spring infographic and a bunch of other cool stuff, and you can learn more about how you could build your own prototype in less than a week. Peace.